श्रीमती काकोली घोष दस्तिका जी थैंक यू ऑनरेबल चेयरमैन सर प्लीज आई ऑल्सो थैंक ऑल इंडिया तृणमूल कांग्रेस फॉर अलाउंग मी टू स्पीक टूडे and i seek your intel intervention and protection from the heckling that has been going on uh, right from yesterday i have been watching whenever the opposition speaks there is heckling going on from the treasury benches so i seek your indulgence for 10 minutes not more than that as i oppose this totally opportunistic and anti people budget sir this budget comes with its saptarshi value system including inclusive development reaching the last mile infrastructure and investment unleashing the potential green growth youth power and financial sector this seems a lot of lofty claims without any substance in it strangely not one sentence has been given by the honorable finance minister herself a lady encouraging proposals for the women of the country except the dindal atmodaya yojana national rural livelihood mission even the self help groups are actually organized by the state governments not by the central government besides the mandan one would have expected out of the box schemes for emancipation and economic empowerment of women including the urban poor student and this actually regrettably neglects 50% of the population the adhi awadi leaving them outside the effective workforce in nation building so this budget cannot be termed inclusive nor can it be termed sabka saath sabka vikas in contrast it is prudent to draw the attention to schemes like kanyashree rupashri lakshmi bhandar conceptualized and implemented by honorable chief minister of west bengal shrimati mamta banerji which is taking the women of west bengal forward a woman empowered is two generations empowered not only her generation even her children so i appeal to the honorable finance minister for sufficient fund allocation for reproductive health care of women <coughs> menstrual health care of women subsidy for their education for their educational loan tax benefits and for help towards entrepreneurship of women <coughs> thousands of posts are lying vacant sir but there is not a word about employment for the unemployed youth the new data governance regime which is being talked about if we go by the trajectory of the digital personal data protection bill 2022 this could be another attempt to obscure data protection in the country considering the fact that this was actually the last budget before we go into the polls in 2024 this looks more like an appeasement towards the middle class of course the tax benefit given is welcome and appreciable but already when the bank has raised the repo rate by 25 basic points the onus is coming on to the middle class as far as the home loan or car loan is concerned and that is going to be higher by 6.5% sir we have 3.7 crore unemployed youth in india but not a word has been spoken about them let us make it clear that the mere rebate of 50000 for the lower limit of taxable income is no relief for the middle class it is more like a drop in the ocean while the tax slab reduction has been announced nothing has been said on the unemployment on the cost of petrol and diesel which is really telling on the purse of the middle class and the lower middle class people and the debt the country has on it we saw a huge cut on the mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act in the union budget this time 60000 crore which is the lowest in many years it's a 33% cut as compared to the revised estimates of the current fiscal in this year's budget food subsidy has been reduced in the coming days the poor will be suffering most 
Meanwhile, the Bengal government provides ration free of cost at the doorstep of the poor people through the Duare ration. So, we call our government for the people, by the people, of the people. Let this central government also be for the people, by the people, and of the people as far as the constitutional promises go. The union budget, this union budget, has promised that there is a reduction of price in the cooking gas, the LPG. At the moment, we have to pay 1,170 rupees. There has been a hike for rupees 70 and a reduction in rupees 4. So who are they trying to fool? And about the Ujwala Jojona, it is said that so many lakhs of women were given this connection. It is a welcome move. We thought the women are going to be relieved from the smoke. But they don't have money to buy the refill of the cylinders. They could use only the one first cylinder given, but now the, there is no money in the hand of the poor people. Hand of the poor people should be furnished by direct transfer in their accounts of funds so that the economy can take off again after the pandemics. The economy is actually dying it should take off, so there should be more fund available to the poor people for the market to thrive. We have time and again stated that there is need to debate dismantling of the cooperative federalism, but as, as usual, the center conveniently neglected the issue in this budget as well. The tax exemption is only a smokescreen to cover the government's monumental failures in addressing the increasing unemployment and inflation, along with the concerns for the poor. What has the center done for the self-help groups, the ASHAs, the ICDS workers? They are finding it very difficult for the ends to meet. And the farmers, the minimum support price has not been spoken about. And the promise for the farmers for enhancement of their income has not been made. And as far as the medical research possibilities are concerned, there is a proposal for research with ICMR, which is a very welcome move. But I would like to draw the attention of the Honorable Minister that there is a high burden of diabetes in the country. It can also be called that India is the diabetes capital, diabetes capital of the world. Nothing has been said about it, and we would really request that for creating consciousness, awareness of the scare that people are getting of diabetes. We should do away with it and guide them properly so that diabetes does not become another killer disease. It affects the eyes, the kidney, the heart. So we should be allotting more money for the diabetes. The growth forecast in this budget and by the economic survey is 7 in contrast to 8.7 of the last fiscal, which is actually lesser than the last time. Anyway, this seems to be a hastily prepared, mindless document with no plan for employment generation and no relief for farmers, daily earners and women. So I draw her attention, the Honorable Minister, to these facts. Thank you, sir. 3 a.m. Arifji.